Hey gorgeous soul, this is it baby. This is a month of turning point. This is a month of transition. Our lives will never be the same again as finally Pluto leaves Capricorn once and for all, well, for a good 200 years, and we are free of a cycle that we have been in since 2008. Liberation and transformation is on its way. Here's your monthly astrology. Oh, Cancer, are you ready for intense change and opportunity? The next era for you when Pluto moves into Aquarius is about coming into your power. Now, your lessons from 2008 have been around partnerships, romantic relationships, one-to-one -one friendships, anything where you have that one-to-one -one love for someone, or you're really, it's just you and them. So it can also be business partnerships. And no doubt there has been some extraordinary changes. Maybe there's some some loss. Maybe you've learned to love in a different way. Or your relationships have been just very, very intense with, with some kind of drama or grief or liberation happening in those areas. But it has been tough. Now, the good news is this month is pouring a lot of luck wonder and optimism when it comes to love and joy for you so there's almost like there's a celebration this month of you you're feeling creative you're going to feel bouncy you're going to feel liberated with the new moon in scorpio you're, you're committing to yourself in a brand new way you're committing to your happiness and your joy and your sense of adventure and you're going for it particularly when mercury trines mars on the second uh, Mars has really been boosting your energy, actually. Maybe your anger as well, but that's a different story. And your passion. But there's been this massive boost of energy, thanks, because Mars is in your sign. And you're like, rah, this is it. I'm going forward. I'm speaking my mind. I'm going after what I love and I'm on it. Mercury in Sag Mercury um, goes in Sagittarius on the second also. So anything you want to say, say it before that, because then you're getting a little bit more hermity, a little bit more meditative about your words. You're thinking before you speak very, very carefully. But maybe that's a good thing, because otherwise you're quite rash and impulsive this month, with, with particularly with, when Mars opposes Pluto. You have a lot to say and feel about all your one-to-one -one relationships. And you're thrashing something out. You're, you're stepping into your power and there are big transformations in those areas and revelations coming before the 19th. So whatever your journey has, has been, please let me know in the comments below. Um, this, is a, this is something different. This is a big change and you will be guided, you will be protected, you will be nurtured and you'll be given opportunities to do something unexpected where if you express your unique soul, you will see the people that love you, value you, see you as you know the wonderful amazing being that you are mars actually enters leo on the 4th of november um and you will be calming down a little bit it's almost like oh i'm just going to take a break now take a few deep breaths ground myself and put my energy into stabilizing myself which is a good thing venus enters capricorn um, and it's big news, really, because I think it's almost like giving us all this love because it's it, it's where Pluto is and, and where Pluto is leaving on the 19th. So it's like, here's your reward. I'm going to bring something lucky your way, and in, in your case, to do with your one-to-one -one relationships or romance. On the 11th of November, things are changing. Maybe not right away, but over the next coming weeks, there's a big shift in your relationships and you feel much more in your power. Now, the full moon in Taurus is conjunct Uranus, the planet of the unpredictable. And there may be a surprise when it comes to something online, when it comes to networking, the groups of people you're mixing with. And also, it could be that something you've put out there to manifest comes towards you and happens. But it'll be, boom, just like that, out of the blue. We have so much like intense joyful energy around you when the sun trines neptune you're feeling creative you're feeling connected there should be a lot of laughter around you this month 
Then Pluto enters Aquarius and it's going into the next era for you, which is about you coming in, truly coming into your power. It's life, death, rebirth, sex, obsession, money, anything that is your primal power over the next quite a good few years, you're dealing with it. So get prepared for that journey. Commit to coming into your power and whatever you do, if you're in a situation where you're even thinking about giving your power away, do not do it at this point because Pluto does not mess about. And it's saying, you know what? You're as powerful as anyone else. You are worthy. You're charismatic. You have got this amazing energy and it's time to trust it. When Venus sextiles Saturn, again, you may be committing to someone or something and it's very exciting for you. And it makes you think, you know what? I want to explore the world I want to explore, I want to learn, I want to express my unique soul, I want to have an adventure, and that is the vibes of this month. There is a lot going on. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Thank you so much for the love you've given me regarding the Nightweight Tarot. If you haven't got it yet, it contains all of my love and passion that I've had for tarot since I was a small child. And the book gives you an easy way to not only work with tarot easily and quickly, but also to manifest. You can get it from the dreaded Amazon or all good bookstores. So thank you once again.